Okay guys, Scrapit's back and we've got another episode of what's in this stuff. So this just looks like two kind of stupid things, right? I mean, a couple of keyboards, you know, whatever, right? Well, this is a Windows-based keyboard and this is an Apple keyboard. And one thing you'll notice, the size difference, this is probably a good, you know, two, two and a half inches longer or so, maybe three inches longer. And the other interesting kind of thing that's just got me curious enough to take it apart is this Windows-based Acer keyboard. Let's get it off grams. Is about one pound three ounces. This Apple keyboard is much smaller but weighs a good half a pound more and it just feels beefier and I don't know why I don't know what's in here and I want to know it's probably just some steel or lead or something like that I doubt lead but maybe some steel or something like that so I'm gonna open these things both of them up and let's take a look at what's inside let me get them opened up and I'll come back and we'll see what's in there so see if you can guess which is which here now this um this is the Apple, this is the Windows, or the uh, the Windows baseboard. So just a little low grade circuit board, a tiny piece of wire, a little tiny piece of steel, and two overlays in there. And then the Apple, you actually get a nice little board out of there. So that'll probably go as APOP for who my buyer is, and I'll get two seventy a pound for this thing. Um, a little bit more wire than the other one, which really who cares. And the two overlays, and then what made this thing heavier was this big piece of steel. That's what it is in there. And each one of these holes had a screw in it that held the keyboard on the back side so you typed on it like this so there was one two three I mean there had to have been 30 screws to take that Apple thing apart so is it worth it yeah probably the Apple one is for sure with what I get for the circuit boards as far as the Windows based ones no I would just I would clip the cord and leave it behind unless I got a ton of them and I had somebody that could buy you waste from me so is it worth it for you? You decide that, but now you have some idea what you might be getting yourself into. Thanks for watching.